Okay, guys, I'm here today with Matt Lindman. Huge honor for me. Guys, Matt is one of the biggest MMA legends out there and also silver Olympic medalist on the Greco Radio right? Matt yeah, in 2000, yeah. right? In 2000 and then yeah. followed up with a world medal in 2001. That's All amazing. Class. That's amazing. No, that's amazing. And guys, uh, Matt just shot an entire structure for BGJ Fanatics and Dynamic Striking all about uh, clinch and takedowns for MMA. And uh, you want to talk a little more about that, man? Yeah, just a lot of dirty boxing, how we enter the clinch, how we get takedowns from the clinch, how we do damage in the clinch. Let me put you on the cage there and show up. you one of the techniques we're working on. Yep. So we'll start right here. So I worked on my striking getting into this position. So what I want is I want a head position and I want an angle. We know this in jiu-jitsu. It's all about angles. And these underhooks can become really effective once you start to learn how to use these in, in jiu-jitsu, especially MMA and wrestling. And so I've got head position, I've got a wrist control. I'm gonna take this hand and drop it straight down here. I'm gonna lock, Bernardo. And as I lock this, I'm just gonna lift you up. I'm gonna slide you right down there. I've got a knee ride. See, I've got arm bars, I've got all my attacks. If you were to squat down and try to take that away from me, lower that level, well, I'm just gonna do what we call a dump. But I'm gonna slide and try to lift you, but you're heavy. So I'm gonna slide to the knee capture this so I don't get stuck in your guard. <laughs> I don't yeah, want to be in there. I got it. Pass that guard and we're back on our feet. Yeah. So let's cover how we would use that in, in jiu-jitsu. In jiu-jitsu as well. Yeah. So we're in here and we're fighting and we're looking. I'm going to steal underhook. Head position. I always want with underhook. I take a little outside step. Look at Bernardo. He wizard me. He locked me in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this leg right here. My arms are long and they're straight. If I bend, I don't have as much power. I want to swing this like a kettlebell. Right here, and I'm gonna clear the legs. I'm gonna go this way. Once he's up, I'm gonna clear him, and my head stays right in his chest. I call it listening to the heartbeat. Here, up, right there, making it look simple. It's not always that simple, especially when I go against somebody like Bernardo. When I grab this weight, he's gonna go ahead and lower his stance. I slide to the knee, do a dump, and slide out to that far leg. Pass him right into a knee bar. Oh, look at this. Get that on film. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank That's you, awesome. brother. Thank you, Matt. So, Matt, so I love how you have this combination that you can either lift or go for a single. Lift up or drive. Right. Lift so, up or drive. There's three it. ways you can finish. Any takedown. Double leg, single leg. So it's this simple. Lift it, dump it, or drive it. All right. Let's drive. Right. You want to see the drive? Yep. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So we're in here. So I went lift, you lost your weight. I can go dump, you keep your balance. Now I'm gonna drive. Watch this little sweep I did. That's awesome. No, uh, one thing that I love about Jiu Jitsu grappling and martial arts in general is all these concepts. You know, I have never heard about that, like uh, lift, dump, or drive. There's only three ways to finish. That's amazing. There's a million techniques and a million ways to show this. But techniques. the principles are all three ways. That's and good. I'm a principal fighter. I got it. I want angles, I want controls. I want simple. I want to simplify everything yeah. so anybody can understand it. I don't want to make yeah. it complicated where you got to be an expert in martial arts, and that's how I kind of built that Dirty Boxer yep. DVD. Is really simplified it. How to jab, cross, how to enter off your striking, how to enter off his striking. Yep. Put that guy in a clinch position where you can really manage how much energy you're expending. Because look, I'm tired. Yep. Yep. And so I want to put, I want to make you use a lot of energy. So I want to maximize the amount of energy you're yep. using. I want to minimize the amount of energy I'm using, and I want to attack effectively as possible. Got it. MMA. Got it. <laughs> oh, Matt. And for example, when you put the person in the cage, it's the same mindset. You can think like as a lift, dump, lift or drive. drive. And I've got a barrier. It's okay. so much more effective. Out here, I can't stop you from going backwards. Yeah. So yeah. I, can, I have a lot more efficiency when I use a barrier. I got it. I love learning these concepts because, for example, this concept you can apply for wrestling, you can apply for jiu-jitsu, and you can apply for MMA. So. Yeah, I took my wrestling and, uh, and really tried to spread it out uh, to learn how to do the striking. I was never going to be the best striker. I was never going to be the best submission yeah. artist. But uh, hopefully I was still one of the best Greco wrestlers in the UFC. Yeah, yeah. And so I wanted to use a lot of the tactics and techniques and strategies that I understood, the angles, the, you know, the simplification and principles of how to, you know, do this effectively. And so I took that into mixed martial arts, had a yep. very, very long career in there, number one middleweight in the world for a number of years. Yep, yep, I remember. And then I went back to coaching wrestling, and I, and I was not training martial arts, yep. so I put the gi on. 
And now I love underhooks. Yep. Now I got more tools because now I know how to use a gi to make an underhook. Yep. And nowadays you are the USC coach, uh, right? Yeah, I'm the yeah. coach for the no, United States uh, National no, I, I love team. talking to like successful people and uh, look you like a uh, second place in the Olympics. Damn word matter this. Yeah. And number one in the NBA on UFC for a very long time. Yeah. And now the US team coach. So yeah, yeah no, that's incredible. So guys, if you want to learn more from Matt, it's going to be at BGJ Fanatics and DynamicStriking.com. And uh, uh, we're super honored to have you. Well, oh, I'm my pleasure. Oh, my privilege you. and my pleasure. Thank you so much. Awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.